Shani, and today I'd like to look at a descriptive event that's going to involve these two dart guns. Now these guns are identical, except for the color. Now we can start our investigation by comparing two identical darts in these guns, and we should see them move at the same speed. So I'll move them against the wall, I'll fire at the same time, and we see that they move together. Now it's time to make a change. I'm going to make one of the darts heavier by adding a heavy steel nut to it. Now if I were to hold these two guns vertically and fire them towards the ground, which dart do you think would hit the ground first? Now when I ask this question of students, or even adults, I'm always surprised by the number of people that have it wrong. So which dart do you think would hit the ground first? Well, let's try it and see. When I pose this question to my students, I have them make predictions, and then I have somebody try it to see what happens. Oh my gosh. Oh, yeah. I knew it! We tried it from higher heights and still got the same results. Now the question is, why did we get the results that we got? Now the explanation actually starts with Galileo. He first described that light objects and heavy objects will both fall and accelerate towards the ground at the same rate. Now Newton in his second law described that if force stays the same, an increase in mass is going to decrease the acceleration. And we can see that Now, when I fire these towards the ground, they're both going to fall and accelerate at the same rate. However, since this dart is lighter, it's going to start off with a higher initial velocity from the gun. So, it's going to reach the ground first. 